The Holocaust Hitler was raised in an anti-Semite surrounding. Much of Germany blamed the Jews for Germany's defeat in 1918. Hitler was named Chancellor of Germany on January 20, 1933. When President Paul von Hindenburg died, Hitler became Germany's supreme leader. First Concentration Camp The first camp was Dachau. Many of the first people sent to this camp were communists. This camp was run by Heinrich Himmler, head of the Nazi Guard. In 1933, only 1% 1 of the German population was Jewish. Anyone with three or four Jewish grandparents was considered a Jew. In 1939, German officials forced 70,000 Germans with mental illnesses or disabilities to be gassed to death in a euthanasia program. Conquering In 1940, the German army conquered Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and France. Germany invaded the Soviet Union in 1941. Over 500,000 Soviet Jews were killed by mobile killing units. Yellow Star after the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941, the Jewish badge was introduced. Different badges were worn in different regions. In Norway, the badge was never introduced, but all Jews carried ID cards stamped with a J. Certain people were exempt from wearing a badge, including foreign Jews specifically from neutral countries, and Jews whose work had meaning to Germany. From the Holocaust Encyclopedia Keeping quiet Nazis tried to keep the running of the camps a secret, but it was very hard due to the major killings. As many as 12,000 Jews were killed every day. Witnesses of Nazi actions in Poland reported what they saw, but they failed to respond. Germany's surrender When German forces evacuated the camps, they sent the inmates marching into the enemy's front line. These death marches killed up to 375,000 people. These marches did not stop until Germany surrendered. After Germany surrendered, the effect on the prisoners was so great that many of them could not return home. Nuremberg Trials Thirteen trials were held in Nuremberg, Germany between 1945 and 1949. These trials brought Nazi war criminals to justice. The defendants got charged with crimes against peace and crimes against humanity. Restitution In 1953, the German government began paying Jews. This made Germany acknowledge their involvement in the hate against Jews. Still today, Germany is paying Holocaust survivors so that they can live their final years in dignity. BBC